See what sense you lose, honey. Touch? Oh, wow. Does that mean that I can't feel pain? Yep, it sure does. Oh, this is going to be the best day ever. And then after that, I got so embarrassed that I... Whoops. You jerk, you hit her right in the head. Hey, it's okay. I, I can't feel pain. Oh. Really? Well, in that case, will you go to the blood drive with me? I'm really scared to go alone. Um, okay. Okay, let me see your arm. Does that hurt? Actually, I don't feel pain today. Oh, well, in that case, would you mind if we take a little bit extra blood? Yeah, sure. Go right ahead. Um, honey, wake up. You're all done. I got a little bit distracted, but you should be fine. Mom, I'm feeling kind of lightheaded. Oh, dear. Okay, honey, I'm taking you to get checked out. Any discomfort here? And how many fingers now? Three. I got your lab results, and I don't know how you didn't feel this. I can't believe you didn't feel this. Feel what? You said you've been feeling kind of lightheaded, correct? Yeah, just like kind of dizzy. That's because you have lost a significant amount of blood. Did you go to a blood drive or anything recently? Does that hurt? Actually, I don't feel pain today. Oh, well, in that case, would you mind if we take a little bit extra blood? Yeah, sure. Go right ahead. That lady, she did this to me. What lady, honey? The one from the blood drive. I have to go find her. Oh, no, you don't. You are in no condition to leave. But, honey, listen to the doctor. How are you not feeling pain? You almost died. Your heart could have stopped. Oh, my. You might want to close your eyes for this part. Is that a bite mark? That nurse at the blood drive, she must have been a... Can you draw me a... No, I have been drawing you stuff all day. Oh, come on. All I need is scotch tape. Just because I have powers doesn't mean you can take advantage of Mom, them. Lindsay won't use her powers for Lindsay, me. Lindsay, don't be selfish. Fine, this is so unfair. Here, are you happy now? Thank you. Hey. Hi. Do you think you can draw me some flowers for a special somebody? Yeah, sure. All done. Um, here you go. Thanks. Giving these to Lauren. Oh. Aw, oh, Derek, you shouldn't have. Well, well, if it isn't the little artist. <laughs> Try some water. Now. Yeah, okay. Aw, thank you. I don't like it. Hey, you got my whiteboard and everything wet. Whoops. <laughs> Just buy a new one. This is the only one that works with my magic. <gasps> Mom? I need my inhaler, but I can't find it. <laughs> Draw me my inhaler. It's not working. <laughs> it's not working. <laughs> Get help. <laughs> Mom. How is she doing today, doctor? A little bit better. But her medication she needs is taking a week to come. I have to get this marker working. Do you think that'll get the water out? I really hope so, because Mom cannot be waiting a week for her medication. Yeah, you gotta draw it. It worked. Yay, let's go bring it to Mom. Great. What? It's Stacy. The one who messed up your magic? Yeah, just let me handle her. What are you doing here? Just visiting a relative. I'm kind of hungry. Draw me money. She can't draw you money. It doesn't... Oh, hey. My gosh, just draw me $10. It's super easy. You know what? You're right. And that makes $10 I drew for you. There you go. Thank you for drawing me this, honey. And actually, I forgot my... Charger? Yeah, I know. Officer, I didn't know it was counterfeit. She shouldn't have used that money. <laughs> Let go of me! I just want to buy food! You've been adopted. I have? By who? A nice family. Come, I'll show you. Hi, I'm Rachel, and that's Tim. But if you like, you can call us mom and dad. Okay. I can't believe it! I'm pregnant! I'm gonna have a baby sister? I mean, she won't be your real sister, but yeah. Can we have those plushes for the new baby? But these are kind of special to me. No, you're too old for them now. Don't be selfish. Hand them over. She's here. Aw, can I hold her? No, oh my gosh, no. Don't touch her. <coughs> Mom, the baby's crying. I think she's in the shower. <coughs> it's okay, it's okay. <sighs> Peekaboo. <laughs> Hush, little baby. Don't say a word. Mom. <gasps> oh my gosh. I was just... I told you not to touch her. You were in so much trouble. I'm sorry, Mom. She was crying and you were in the shower, so I just picked her up and she fell asleep. I think she kind of likes me. Likes you? You could have dropped her. Give her to me. How dare you disobey me? I was just singing her a song. Don't ever pick her up again. Go to your room. <laughs>
Did you steal that from our baby? No, I'm sorry. I just, I was feeling sad and I usually have these stuffed animals when I'm sad. I told you to give that to the baby. You don't need that anymore. Let me see it. No, my real parents gave to me. Oh, I see how it is. We don't allow rudeness in this house. No. I think we should give her back to the adoption center. No, please, I'll do anything. Uh, I mean, we do need someone to help around the house with this new baby. Will you help us clean? If, if I do that, then can I stay? Huh, okay. As long as you're obedient and you clean well, you can stay. Did you finish the laundry? Yes. Good, because there's crumbs all over the floor. Get to it. What? Is there any way that I can have some dinner? She needs to be fed first. Listen, we both have to leave and we need you to watch the baby. You're gonna let me watch her? Yes, because we have to, but if anything happens to her, I'm bringing you back to that adoption center. Understand? We'll be home by 10. Her bottles are in the fridge. Hey, it's okay. Where are they? Hi, it's me again. I'm just wondering where you guys are at because it's already midnight. Breaking news, a fatal accident has taken place on the freeway tonight. That's their car. Breaking news, a fatal accident has taken place on the freeway tonight. That's their car. Officer, are they? Well, kid, it uh, looks like your mother is in critical condition and your father, he, he didn't make it, kid. I'm sorry. Your mom wants to see you. I'll hold her for you, honey. I'll watch over her, too. <laughs> Be careful with her. We will, kid. Mom. I... Come here. I'm so sorry that my real daughter is gonna be stuck you. Ow. I should have never adopted you. Doctor. We lost her. I believe these belong to you. I'm so sorry, kid. Thank you. You and your sister are adorable. You didn't deserve to be treated like that, you know? My wife and I are actually looking to adopt. Really? Yeah, we've always wanted daughters. I can talk to my wife. Would you like that? Aw, oh, kid, come here. Veronica, open the door. No, not until you tell me what really happened to my parents. How did they even get this crown? I told you, your parents were spies and they acquired many riches on their missions. That crown was a gift from a princess they saved. Your parents were rich and I needed money, but they would never give it to me. So I decided to take something that they wanted and to never give it to them. Me. And you want to know what I did to your parents? Freeze! FBI! Whoa, hey, what's going on? Are you injured? No, but I don't understand. How did you guys know to come? Well, we've been investigating your uncle for quite some time now. Recently, we gathered enough evidence to make the arrest. I told you I'm okay. I don't need an ambulance. Honey, the ambulance isn't for you. What? While we were searching your house, we found a shed in your backyard. Did you know about the shed? Uncle Scott said it was infested with bugs. Actually, we believe we found your parents. They're in critical condition, but they're alive. All right, but they better be for me. A uh, horse? I mean, if the man wants a horse, why not? What's your soulmate been buying? Flowers and a horse. <laughs> Lucky, mine keeps buying adult diapers. He's probably just messing with you. I hope so, otherwise he's probably a grandpa. I'm sure he's not a... What? He wants to buy a carriage. Like a baby carriage? I don't know. Ew, he probably has kids. Decline. No, that's mean. Oh my gosh, just decline it. Hey, what the heck? Why would you do that? Oh, whoops, that's the bell. What is her problem? Um, excuse me, a second castle? Who is this guy? Guess what? Someone here at this school got paired up with a prince. Really? I, I wonder which girl it is. Well, they need to be careful. How come? A lot of the girls are getting jealous and they're planning on kidnapping whoever that girl is. Guys, I'm pretty sure it's her. Please be green, please be green. Transparent? Is that even a thing? Never mind, I'm not complaining. Is that my boyfriend over there with a girl? See ya, babe. And don't worry about her. I'll make sure she doesn't find out. Whoa! Babe, hey, how are you? Don't touch me. We're over. Aw, oh, come on. Why is my mom at my school? And why is she talking to my science teacher? Well, you know what they say in science. Opposites attract. <laughs> You're a good kid. <laughs>
Would you mind if I invite your science teacher for dinner? No, not at all. Your mom sure makes the best food. Mom, shouldn't you call and check on dad? Yes, I should see how he's doing on his trip. I'll call with you. We can't keep hiding this. Yeah, she's got to know I'm her real dad. What's your hair color? Who said that? I have a squishy and I'm not afraid to use it. Relax, today we get to talk to our soulmates, remember? Sorry, I forgot that was today. <laughs> so what's your hair color? I have brown hair with blonde highlights. Oh, damn, that's too bad. I'm really into redheads. Oh, okay, well, what color eyes do you have? I got brown eyes. Oh, sorry, well, I'm only into guys that have blue eyes. Ah, I see, I see what you're doing there. So, where do you live? I live in the USA. How about you? Sweet, same. <laughs> Hey, sorry, uh, do you know where the pharmacy is in this Target? One sec, this weird looking girl is asking me for directions. Down that aisle to your left. Now, remember, sweetheart, don't lose that oxygen can. Yes, I know, Mom. And I'm setting your oxygen amount on private. But why? Because other kids will probably get jealous. Now, take a sip before you go. Hey, where did you get that special canister? Oh, um, my mom got it for me. How nice, but girly, why is your oxygen on private? Um, can you show me how much you have? I'm not allowed to. What? Why not? I have to go. Hey! <laughs> Angela, catch! Give it back! Hmm, no, I don't think we will. Guys, please, I need that. Then make your oxygen public right now. Okay! Why do you have so much? It's because I have asthma. Yeah, right. You do not need all this oxygen. No! Here, have fun with your asthma. <laughs> <laughs> no, this can't be happening. Would you like to take Angela's oxygen? Stay still for facial scan. Hello, Angel. Welcome back. Hey, Charlie. Sorry I'm a little late. Angels, thank goodness. Something terrible has happened. What? Where's Maya? That's just it. Maya is MIA. She's missing? Since when? Since yesterday. She went on a solo mission and hasn't returned. She knows we work better as a team. How can we find her, Charlie? Well, girls... Charlie and I have put together a plan to save her. We're listening. Okay, Charlie. I have her location. Excellent. Now, Bree, are you sure you can handle this mission? I'm sure. Charlie, the girl's transportation is arriving. Nice. Charlie always did get us the coolest rides. <clears throat> My friends are gonna find me. I am counting on it. Finally, we're on site. What's the security looking like? Pretty heavy. This guy's got cameras everywhere. How about bodyguards? Oh yeah, he's got those too. Okay, I'm in. Were you able to hack the cameras? Yeah, but it's only a matter of time before they find out. You need to move fast. Copy that. I believe she's in the last room on your left. Heading that way now. Wait, you got company. Great, how many guys am I gonna have to fight? I don't think you can fight these guys. Freeze, we have you surrounded. Let's see your hands, now. It was a setup. You think? Do it. Bree, can you hear me? Maya? What did you do to her? Oh, that was nothing, just wait. It's up to me now to save them. Just one more angel to capture. Oh, you don't want to mess with Jessica. Yeah, she's the toughest of all of us. We shall see. Maya, Bree, I'm here to save you. Please tell me you brought something to protect yourself with. And please tell me it's not the pin. What's wrong with this? Jessica, no. Girl, are you for real? Guys, trust me, I know what I'm doing. Oh, do you? Don't move or I'll click it and bad things will happen. <laughs> She's the toughest, okay. Don't say I didn't warn you. Alert. What did you do? Let's just say you might want to check on your men. What? Boys, where are you? Thanks, Jess. Yeah, but I thought that pen was a tranquilizer. No, not this one. Hey, you let them free? <clears throat> nice one. There should be two guys left. Hey, don't move. Right on cue. Ladies, let's get him. Hey, Mr. Toad, sorry I'm late. Better be the last time, Red. Hey, Goldilocks. Hey. Psst, Jill, where's Jack? Who? Oh, Jack and the Beanstalk? No, your brother Jack. Yeah, like Jack and Jill went up the hill? Huh? That's not my story. You don't remember your own brother? Goldie, Red, no talking. 
That was weird, even for Jill. Right? How does she not remember her own brother? Hey, Humpty Dumpty, have you seen Jack? Jack and the Beanstalk? No, like Jack and Jill. He's your best friend. Huh? I'm not friends with anyone named Jack. That's really weird how Nils remembers Jack. Hey, is that Bo Peep? I've never seen her without her sheep. Hey, Bo Peep, where are your sheep? <laughs> sheep? You guys are silly. I don't have any sheep. I'm starting to think it's not just Jack who went missing. Mr. Toad's storybook characters are missing, and no one seems to remember them but us. Like who? Like Bo Peep and Jack. And Hansel doesn't even remember his sister Gretel. Who's Gretel? It's no use, Goldilocks. We're the only ones that remember. Meet me at the Storybrooke Library. We need to investigate. Goldie, look at this. Just as I thought, someone's blacking out the storybook characters. And they're completely disappearing from their stories. This has one person written all over it. Cruella. Cruella, we know you're here. Well, well, it looks like we have visitors. <sighs> Down boy, can I get you two anything? How about a nice warm fur coat? I'm vegan. Even after the wolf incident? All right. Well, then what do you two want? To know why you're making storybook characters disappear. <laughs> it's not funny. You're erasing their stories. I would never. How dare you accuse me of such a thing? And you're not supposed to take books from the library. Get the hell out of here. Do you believe her? No, not for a second. Maybe your granny can help us get the book back. I don't have a grandma. No, Red, not you two. Come with me, we're fixing this right now. You two are back. Yes, we brought you some porridge to apologize to. I made sure the bears made it just right. Mm. Are those ink stains on your fingers? All right, you caught me, but there's nothing you can do. Soon, darlings, only the villain characters will remain. <laughs> you underestimated the girls who fought wild animals and won. What? What was in this porridge? There. All the ink has been erased. Red? Granny. Oh, Red, is it really you? Hey, look, it's Jack. And little Bo Peep and her sheep. All the storybook characters are reappearing. We did it! I think we should take this book to the Blue Fairy so she can put a protection spell on it so this will never happen again. Good idea. Smoking drugs is cool. Do you think that doing alcohol is cool? 